It's a big day for Israeli politics and an equally big day for Isaac Herzog. The chairman of the Jewish agency and former Labour Party leader is to become Israel's next president. I intend to be the president of everyone, to listen attentively to every position and to respect every person, to mark the connecting lines and build bridges of agreement, in order to bring closer the far most zealots, here within us, as well as with our brothers and sisters in the diaspora. Herzog's election was historic as he defeated social activist Miriam Peretz in an 87 to 27 vote, the widest margin in any presidential vote in Israeli history. It was also the first presidential race in Israel in which none of the candidates were current members of parliament. And Herzog will become the first second generation president following in the footsteps of his father, Chaim Herzog, Israel's sixth president, who served from 1983 to 1993. In fact, the Herzog family has a strong linkage to Israel's public sector. Apart from his father, his grandfather was the country's first chief rabbi. His brother is a retired IDF brigadier general, and his aunt was the wife of a former celebrated foreign minister. Herzog will succeed incumbent President Reuven Rivlin when his term ends on July 9th. The president's residence is the core of our democratic soul. It's the house of the people, of the whole Israeli society. Its door is open and it is all ears to our partners in building our home, to the pain and struggle of our residents, as well as to the core issues that trouble Israeli society. I have no doubt that you will do an excellent job, and I am proud to pass the baton to you. In Herzog's 15 years in the Israeli parliament, he has gained a reputation as a respectful and soft-spoken persona, often refusing to engage in political feuds that have come to define the country's fractious politics. Israel's president is largely ceremonial, but plays a key role in deciding who gets the mandate to form a government following elections a task Herzog may soon be faced with.